second, I think. Oh, yeah. All and right, so... I can share it effectively. Yeah. No worries. Everything is all right. Uh, yeah, I think we have it. Um, yeah, so take your three yeah. minutes away. Yeah, so hi, my name is Neringa. I'm a CEO and a co-founder of Brachydose. And the Brachydose is a medical device made to help oncology doctors to prevent treatment errors in a radiotherapy procedures. I've been working as a medical device engineer, a medical physicist for more than seven years in various international projects and hospitals. And I've seen many of my colleagues, oncology doctors, frustrated and satisfied with the cancer treatment outcomes. And in the radiotherapy, we use radiation to kill the cancerous cells. And radiation also kills the healthy cells and healthy organs, and it ends up into severe wounds, painful wounds for cancer patients. It takes additional time for medical doctor. Also, it increases significantly the treatment uh, costs for, for radiotherapy departments. To solve this, we made brachydose. Uh, it's in a shape of flexible tube, and it measures the radiation dose applied to a patient during the procedure. Sends all this data to doctor's computer, and this data set is used to improve treatment plan and prevent more than 80% of the treatment errors. Uh, first, we made our solution to help uh, patients to leave a hospital faster, save doctors time and reduce overall treatment costs for hospitals. Uh, we are planning to sell those measurement tools, which is single used uh, data management system and give the service and maintenance. So now we have a prototype which is undergoing preclinical testings and clinical testings at the National Cancer Institute. And while the radiotherapy is done in more than 150 countries, uh, we can target more than 7,000 of facilities uh, in Europe and US and more than 1,000 of them we can reach in European Union. Uh, well, Brachydose is not alone in this competition, so it's easy to use, it's easy to implement, and it's made not only for high quality hospitals, but also for mid-income and lower income hospitals and facilities. So this is our team. We are medical device engineers, uh, data specialists, and we are happy to be backed by international clinicians team and business development partners, France, UK, Germany, Estonia. And in the upcoming year, we are going to get a C marking and enter Baltics market, then scale to France, uh, where we have our first adopters and we can get more than 100 million net revenue in this market. And if we scale to external radiotherapy, we can get additional 700 million net revenue annually. Uh, so now we are looking for 300,000 euros to do regulatory approvals and to strengthen our business creation team. And in Brachydose, we have a mission to provide the best possible treatment for every patient in every hospital. So join us and make an impact for 200 million cancer patients. Thank you. You're, you're perfectly on time. And so, yeah, four minutes of the uh, jury's question starts now. Um, just a, a very quick question, because um, you said you've started some clinical trials or you're planning the clinical trials? Uh, we started the clinical trials. Uh, it was stopped for a while during due to this COVID situation, but now we came back to hospital. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm assuming the um, you'll provide this as a service to the hospital networks or the healthcare providers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. it's uh, it's going to be like device selling and the service to maintain yeah. everything and. I mean, we're, we are a devices and diagnostics accelerator here in the UK, and, and I've seen something similar, but this seems a lot more mature in its development. Um, I, I think it was a great pitch. Thanks. How do you plan to distribute such a hardware product on your markets? Uh, while in Baltics, uh, we plan to do it with distributor. Uh, we have a contract, uh, er very early contract with the distributor company who can cover all Baltic countries. And then in France, we are planning to implement this uh, solution into French uh, uh, innovation uh, system, which they can uh, take take our solution and uh, show it to the to their uh, governmental hospitals and private hospitals and that's that's the way we can go in, into France 
and in general we are planning to do to do sales uh, with the distributor okay and, and an, another question why did you choose france which is quite reluctant usually in terms of uh, innovation <laughs> in medical fields um yeah it's uh, the first thing that we want to do the measurement in a live person during the procedure. So the France is the one who is leading this uh, kind of radiotherapy measurement sector. Uh, so they have they have all the most knowledge in science and development in this specific sector. Okay, thank you for your answer. Any more questions, Greg? Uh, not on my end, I know Brian does very well. Actually, it's really nice to see you. I like this company. We work together. So I'm wishing you the best of luck. It's good to see so many still, still adventurous companies as well. Yeah. So yeah, congratulations. You nailed it. Thank you. All right. So do judges have any questions? Any more questions? If not, then you have actually one minute left. Do you know? To, do you want to say something more about your startup? Anything to add? Any interesting fact? Uh, in, interesting fact. <laughs> uh, the interesting fact is that we started to work in the radiotherapy departments, and we found the problem in it. Uh, uh, basically, we create the device. The device is created by the user, not from the some someone from outside, outside the hospital or outside the engineering. Right then, thank so, you so much. Sorry. <laughs> oh. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. So, if you know, we don't have any other questions, then we thank you very much, Naringa. Uh, thank you for pitching, and we'll.